Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The Swedish contender Otto Wallin has been confirmed to return to the ring on May the 26th in Detroit, Michigan. He will be facing Rydell Booker, the 40-year-old. So this is quite a curious matchup because Otto Wallin has fought sparingly in recent years. He had a tune-up against Kamil Sokolowski a couple of months ago, and now this fight. So it's a little strange they haven't gone for something a little bit bigger, but perhaps it's because uh, Otto Wallin has a certain number of fights that he has on his deal with Dimitri Salita. Salita, for this card, may have just needed a bigger name to help shift some tickets. Could be all manner of reasons. But what we do know is Otto Wallin and his promoter Dimitri Salita have struggled to get the big fights in recent years since he fought Tyson Fury, which was all the way back in 2019. So here we are, 2022, and this will be his fourth fight since then. So the most notable win on his record since that loss to Fury, which obviously he put up a credible effort. His most notable win since then was Dominic Brazil, and that was well over a year ago now. So it kind of has been a little bit of a case of waiting, watching, struggling to sort of get the big fights that he wants to be in. He almost fought Dillian White last year. It got to, what, a couple of weeks within that fight and White pulled out injured. And as we know, White went on to have a failed title shot against Tyson Fury. So Valine, number 11 in the WBC at the moment. Maybe this is also about rankings, trying to get him higher up there. Because if a belt is vacated by Tyson Fury, maybe he wants to be in the mix here. Who knows? But in terms of this fight, Otto Varnin says, training is going really well. I've been getting a lot of work in over the last few months. I saw Booker when he fought Franklin, and I know that he's an experienced and skilled boxer. He's not someone I will underestimate, but this is a fight I need to win. I appreciate my promoter, Salita Promotions, keeping me active. This is the first time I fight twice in a year since 2019. I'm looking to put on a good performance. Is that a little bit of a dig there at Salita saying this is the first time I fight twice in a year since 2019? Well, possibly. And inactivity has been a bit of a killer for some of Salita's heavyweights. Jermaine Franklin has been out forever and a day and no real news about when he's coming back. But Franklin is a guy that fought Rydell Booker in 2019 and put up a pretty credible effort. I think the scorecards were wider than the fight actually was, and some people make a case for Booker winning that fight. And since that 2019 loss to Jermaine Franklin, he's actually fought five times. So you may recall he also fought Kubrat Pulev, that was back in 2019, Filip Hergovic in 2020, he was stopped there in five rounds, and then also Marcin Sui most recently, a couple of other fights there. But he lost that um, Sui fight back in March uh, by a unanimous decision that was over in Poland. So it has been a case of sort of diminishing returns since that fight with Jermaine Franklin, where he looked decent, he was counter-punching, he looked okay. But in terms of some of his more recent performances, he's looking a bit heavier, he's looking older, slower, and certainly the results haven't necessarily been going all his way in. He's got a 10-year age gap with him and Otto Valin. Valin, a tricky southpaw, and that's something that uh, Rydell Booker touches on in his comment. He says, he's a southpaw that boxes well. Everybody thinks they know how to fight a southpaw. I fight them totally different. I've been fighting them for years. I'm sparring with lefties every day and training is going well. It would mean a lot to beat Valin. He's rated in the world and it would let everybody know Rydell Booker is still here and at 40 actually 41 years old certainly at the um the tail of his career and this press release actually talks about some of his earlier life all that sort of stuff as we know well publicized was in prison but ahead of that and this touches on it his amateur career from the 90s and also going 12 rounds with james tony back in 2004. see for me i think it's a bit of a mistake mentioning some of all that stuff from so long ago because what you're reminding us is that he's older than dirt and that probably well past his prime as well. And actually, I think at this point, Otto Valin should go in there and do a job. But having said that, he looked pretty uninspired and a bit pedestrian against Camille Sokolowski. Sokolowski, as we know, comes to fight, and Otto Valin kind of went through the motions a few months ago when he fought him. But it is good for him to get out there, get some activity, 
And perhaps they can use this to springboard to something a bit bigger and better. Because at this time of his career, 31 years old, Otto Valley needs to be in the big fights. The bigger fights in the division that he can sort of land. And I guess that's the problem with having a mid-tier promoter, that sometimes you're at the behest of others. Those promoters with the TV deals, with big money, and generally, Valine is going to be sort of coming in as a competitive B-side. Not to say he can't win those fights, but he's not going into them being pitched as the A-side. So there is that sort of tension with um, Otto Valine, where he is in his career, his promoter, the sort of opportunities that they can get. Almost got the white fight last year, fell through. And there were some questions about whether the shoulder injury was legit. Certainly, people were asking that at the time. But it is what it is. And at this point, Otto Valine is in desperate need of a good fight. That Brazil one in 2021, in February 2021, yeah, I mean, it was perfectly fine at that point. And it did represent the biggest name since that fight, since Tyson Fury. But we knew he was going to beat Dominic Brazil, who's a bit older, faded, and certainly a bit battle-weary. And Valine ended up sort of piecing him up. And it was a decent enough performance by Valine. But he hasn't been able to cash in. And that's the shame of his career at this point. He's just not quite getting the opportunities that he needs. But uh, he should beat Rydell Booker. It wouldn't surprise me if this goes quite a few rounds. I don't envisage that uh, Rydell Booker will be stopped here. He is tricky, even though he'll probably show up um, out of shape here. He does know how to survive and make it a bit tough and awkward. Philip Hergovic took five rounds to break him down and stop him. And Valine doesn't carry that same sort of power, in my view, that Hergovic does. But it wouldn't surprise me that we do see Otto Valine picking him apart and probably coasting to a decision or maybe a stoppage later in the fight. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.